Welcome back to the channel, my name is Chase, and today we're going over one of the most important skills in Clash, dealing with clan castle troops. Let's get right into it. The clan castle troops are a crucial defensive presence at every town hall level, and knowing how to deal with them can be the difference between a successful attack and a fail. There's two main types of defensive CCs, damage and stall. Damage CCs are best when the attacker is trying to take out a portion of the base with a relatively small investment of troops, like a Queen Charge or a Sui Hero Dive. The intent is the singular heroes have no way to disperse the damage of the troops, so they die very quickly and get little value. They also do a good job of weakening armies that tend to spread out, like dragons and the end of P.E.K.K.A. raids, or armies with slow attack speeds like E-Drags and sometimes Lalo. Then there's stall CCs, consisting of tanky troops or a large number of units that's meant to hold enemy troops in place while strong defenses pummel the army into dust, or cause them to run out of time. These are good against any spam or smash style attacks, as well as queen charges and sui heroes, if you have strong defenses in the area to force out more spells. Keep in mind all the clips are from Town Hall 13s, but the tips I share can be used for any Town Hall level. Now that we know what the different types of CC troops are, let's get into how to deal with them. Damage CCs are the toughest to deal with because you need quick reaction time, but if you practice a little, you can get it taken care of with no issues. Make sure you know where you're going to engage the CC in any attack you do and be prepared to counter it. Here's some common damage CCs that you'll see in the game. If you're lower than Town Hall 13, you'll still find CCs just like this, but with less troops. The more common one is Super Minion Headhunter, which can be a pain to deal with depending on the attack you use. The Mass Headhunter CC is also a threat, trying to eliminate one of your heroes immediately. If they lock on at the wrong time, you can kiss your hero goodbye. Stall CCs can also be a nightmare if the opponent predicted your attack correctly. Here's a few of the most popular stall CCs right now. The most common is Hound Headhunter, with the idea of getting you to commit your poison early so that your troops have to deal with every single lava pup once the hound pops and the poison wears off. When using a smash attack, you don't really need to worry about a damage CC, but you should make sure it doesn't lock on to a hero, especially the Grand Warden. You don't want to lose your tome and HP buff too early into the raid. The sheer amount of troops you have moving into the base at once makes it easy to get past damage CCs since their damage is spread too thin to do any real work. The real issue is the stall CC. This is where smash attacks go to die if the builder set up the base correctly. If it's a hound, make sure you get your poison ready and poison the pups that move over to the front of your army because the queen will deal with the ones in the back. If it's a Hound Ice Golem, or just triple Ice Golems, you have to make sure your healers have transferred to the main army and are under rage so they can keep them at full health through all the damage in the core. And if there's too much damage, then you can Tome to save everything. Facing the Clan Castle early in a smash attack is really good because you won't have the damage of the core beating down on your troops while they're stalled up. With a Queen Charge, you have to be prepared for a damage CC, as it can kill your Queen through ability, effectively decimating your raid. Make sure you can deal with it in a low damage area. The best example is using a Yeti Bomb to lure the Clan Castle, and bring the troops to a corner and have the Queen deal with them there. For Super Minion Headhunter CCs, you have to poison the Super Minions and freeze the Headhunters, otherwise you might lose your Queen. As soon as the headhunters get a shot off, the queen's hit speed slows down so much, so it's best to freeze the headhunters as they get in front of the queen so she can snipe them off. Another way to deal with the super minion is to send in cocoloons to waste the super minion long shots so that the queen can take care of them when they try to get closer. This takes good timing, but you can end up saving your spells if you get it right. For stall CCs like Hound Headhunter, you have to poison early for the headhunters and bring minions for when the hound pops. Minions or even archers are great at taking down lava pups to make sure the queen charge goes faster. However, if you can save your poison for the hound, then do it. That'll save a lot of time on the queen charge. When using a poison on the lava pups, it's best to place it pretty much directly on top of your queen. That way it hits all the lava pups as the hound pops. It's much easier to do on the ice hound. Witch clan castles can be pretty annoying to deal with since the witches are so slow, but the skeletons are not. Be patient and wait for the witches to get closer to the queen, and then you can poison them and you should have no trouble. 
If you need to deal with the clan castle using your heroes, it's best to lure it out. But if you can't, make sure your heroes engage the CC in a low damage area. That way your heroes can survive damage CCs, and stall CCs will be ineffective since there's no damage to back them up. Or you can bring an Ice Golem to tank and freeze up the entire area while your heroes or poison kills off the CC. For Hound Headhunter, you should lure the clan castle first. If you don't, the queen will get stalled up while the king surges ahead and will either waste his tanking for your queen, or have the queen walk the other way while the king is clearing the outside buildings. The best way to deal with Hound Headhunter is to kill the headhunters with spare troops like a baby dragon, and then lure the hound to a corner with an archer. Then you can use the queen to deal with the hound, and place your king after the pups have all died. That way they can go into the base together. For a Lalo attack, you usually want to deal with the clan castle before you start the Lalo. But if you want to Lalo through it, and it's a damage CC, you need to bring a lightning spell for the headhunters and a poison for the super minions, if any. The lightning can take care of the headhunters since balloons won't target them, and as long as they're not in the enemy warden's aura, you should be fine. But if you miss, you will be punished. They'll go straight to the warden and force out the tome early, which can be devastating to your attack. It's a different story, however, in dragon attacks. The splash damage from the dragons clears damage CCs so well that you don't even need a poison. Inferno dragons and e-drags may need a poison though because their attack speed is so slow that they can't deal with headhunters as easily. For stall CCs, the air units won't lure hounds or ice golems, so just try not to send a ground troop into the clan castle range. Witch and mass archer CCs are uncommon, but if you come across it you should tome and rage when using dragons to get them through quickly while taking no damage. For other air strategies, just try to poison as many troops as possible, and you should be fine. And if you don't want to deal with the clan castle at all, just skelly donut it. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope this helped you with your attacking, and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Now go triple some bases.